Hi, Mike. Hey, Johnny. Come on, welcome in. I will, absolutely. You just got off the stage a moment ago from winning Fans Choice, second year in a row. Unbelievable, mate. An incredible feeling and something I'll never forget. And uh, needless to say, if it happening in Edmonton is a, a wonderful thing. Of all the places it can happen, this would be the place for it to happen. You're starting four shows tomorrow night. I think there's going to be a little more kick in your set. I think so, mate. I think so. Especially here in Edmonton. I owe, I owe a lot of things to the people of Edmonton. And uh, what can I say? I look forward to seeing everybody in the next four nights. Congratulations, my friend. Thanks, mate. You're a good friend. Thank you. Edmonton, you guys have th probably the best fans. I think uh, not, not only football, but probably music-wise, between Calgary and Edmonton is the biggest rivalry. I mean, you guys are wild, and I love you. Me and the boys love playing for you. It was awesome. How did it feel when uh, you first started singing Roll That Barrel Out, you hit the first day-o, and the second one, everyone in the building was singing along with you? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It happened at West Ed yesterday, too. It's kind of surprised us a little bit. but man, I just love love playing with the boys and that's our thing we just want to get out and see you guys and have a good time have a party thank you dean brody thanks mike backstage after the show with crystal shawanda you're so sparkly i'm always sparkly i love to sparkle okay, okay I, I want to do this but i want to be weird about it so shiny 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 and my shoes all right wow sparkly sparkly Very nice so how was that, CCMA's in Edmonton? It was awesome. I, I had such a blast. There were so much more performances this year, so performances this year. So yeah, I had a great time. I saw you uh, in the crowd in between breaks hanging out with Brooke Hogan. Oh, I totally was. I was I'm not usually a schmoozer, but I was standing backstage earlier all by myself, all loser, and she came and just started talking to me. She was so nice, and we just hit it off. So who knows, maybe I'll be down in Miami, like, chilling with Brooke. Yeah. <laughs> it would be, be like cool. Brooke and Crystal know best. Yeah, but it'll be like, but Brooke knows better though. Because it'll be like her show, and I'm just like on her coattails, right? <laughs> is, there, is there any chance like you guys are pals enough that maybe you could introduce me to Brooke? <laughs> I think she's like already flown the coup, but uh, maybe next time we take a trip to Miami, Mikey, I'll be Yeah, I'll well, yeah, because you and I, we travel all the time together. Yeah, all the time. I remember the Caribbeans and. Carolyn Don Johnson here backstage after the CCMAs. You got to reintroduce yourself to the fans. How did it feel? Actually, it was a lot of fun. It was great to go back out on the stage. I was nervous, but I was I had a good time out there. What and, were you nervous uh, about? You know, I, I get, honestly, I get nervous every time I go on stage. I don't know if there's ever been times that I haven't. There's just something. It's a nervous energy. It's like, I want to do good. I want to sing good. I want to get out there and enjoy the moment and and it was really fun it happened super fast i felt like i blinked my eyes and it was over you took to the crowd everybody was cheering and screaming it's safe to say uh, i've said it before i'll say it again cdj welcome back we missed you thank you i missed you too <laughs> Britton carly mckillop aka one more girl um so anything exciting happened tonight oh not much just you, you know, know won the that. rising star award but other than that nothing big no yeah no no <laughs> brooke hogan was here yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did not say that you did, but it was, uh, no, this has been like the biggest night in our career so far and we have just, this is, I feel like the bell of the ball right now, this is so cool. Congratulations, I mean, the cool part was, I mean, you guys must have been either getting ready to perform or just... We were, yeah, we yeah. were getting ready to perform. We were getting ready to walk on stage. And, and so we were, you came down the stairs and I swore that one of the two of you was going to explode on contact with anything, like, no, you I so know. excited. Well, we were really excited and very surprised. I was genuinely freaked out, though. I know. I was, I was freaked out, I could not... Really, I don't even really remember what I think. I, I know I was pretty obnoxious. You were screaming a lot. I was screaming a lot. <laughs> but so, it was oh, good. I'm kind of As I recall, you were fanning her off and telling her not to cry, not to cry, not to cry. Oh, yeah, yeah. But she was screaming, so how does that work? Because <laughs> you were crying, and I didn't want to look it like was hard out not of to control. cry, okay? It was just a big moment for us. <laughs> Absolutely. Well deserved. Congratulations, <laughs> and uh, go have fun. Yeah, we are Thank now. You. Yeah. Marley Scott from St. Albert, Alberta. You uh, have been spending a lot of time in Nashville, uh, working with people, working on your writing and just building that career. You come back home to Edmonton and Rexall Place. Did you ever imagine you'd be playing to this many people at the CCMA? No, you know, it was so cool because it was in my hometown. It was like, you know, I've been to Rexall hundreds of times watching concerts and always going, oh, I want to be up there so bad. And, you know, this is my eighth year at the CCMA, so it was really cool to actually be nominated and get to play on the show this year in my hometown. Very you have a huge box of cupcakes. I do. They gave me this box of cupcakes. Like they gave us like all the swag for being nominated, and and uh, yeah, I have this giant giant box of cupcakes from Flirt Cupcakes, and uh, I think they're on White Ave, so they're really good. Go go check them out. Victoria Banks, congratulations. Thank you. 
Seemed a little surprised. I was very surprised. That was amazing. That was truly amazing. I, I, you know, as I was sitting there looking at the other nominees in the category, I, I was thinking, well, she would win before me. She would, she would definitely, every single one of them I thought would win before me. And they all, you know, deserve awards. So I'm just I'm very honored. I think maybe since the story arose of you know you surfacing as uh, as your own solo artist now, but knowing your resume, knowing your history, knowing how much you've contributed to country music, do you think that maybe that had an effect in this award as well? Maybe so. You know, yeah, I guess be because this is a, an award that was voted on by the people in the industry, and they sort of knew me from over the years of working behind the scenes. I guess that's probably part of it too. And uh, I think. Uh, I, I just really appreciate the fact that they wanted to give me this this boost and this uh, accolade that really means a lot to me at this point in my career because it marks a transition, you know, as to being taken seriously as as an artist and not just as the songwriter who's singing. She is the female artist of the year, Victoria Banks. Congratulations. Thank you. 2010 is CCMA Group of the Year. Here they are, Doc Walker. Congratulations, fellas. Oh, how's it going? You know, they, uh, they don't give you a whole lot of time to uh, speak individually, so I thought I'd uh, go one by one here and let you kind of give your thanks individually. So uh, we'll start with Murray Pulver. You know what? I didn't get to thank my wife, uh, Josephine, and my kids, Katie and Carl. Chris Thorsonson. I talked the whole time. Go to him. <laughs> Dave Wasselu. Uh, I, I, I did thank my, my family, and, uh, but I didn't thank my mom or my dad or, geez, who else did we thank? I'd we like missed. to thank we these missed. guys for such a good time on the road. <laughs> I love these guys, and really, and Brent, Perrin, Brent, Steve, Steve Broadhurst are the other two guys. Brent, in the Perrin, Kevin Steve Bushy, Brothers. they they rock. Yeah, let's get Kevin, Kevin yeah, Bushy, get, get Kevin, Kevin here. Now you gotta right. get in here. This is a guy this that guy makes everything not happen. And, and this guy, I have to thank this guy personally because anytime I say, hey, I need the guys for this, he'll he'll work his best to accommodate it. So uh, thank you, sir, for all your hard work with these guys. No problem, Mike. No problem. Awesome. Congratulations, Doc Walker, 2010, and rating CCMA Band of the Year. Thanks, thank guys. You. Thanks, Mike. How was your night? Uh, it was unbelievable, man. What a, what a great night. I never expected. I was just hoping to maybe get one award. We never expected to get three. You know, it was uh, just incredible. It was, You're going to start balling right now? <laughs> <laughs> it was incredible. It was it's okay. You can use my sleeve if you have to. One of the best nights of my life. It's, it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of relief. We worked really hard to get to this point, and it's just, uh, you know, I dreamed of being a male vocalist in Canada, when, you know, when I was a kid. I just, I'm, I'm still wondering if I'm in a dream right now. It's just, it's just. I don't even know what to say, man. It's this is your chance right now. Look into this camera. I want you to take the microphone. I want you to say whatever comes from your heart. You want to talk to everybody who's watching this right now. I just want to thank everybody for supporting me and my family and my team and all the fans out there. All country radio. It's just been a unbelievable ride this week for me. And we we're gonna be coming to every town we can get to to come play for you guys. See you out there on the road. Congratulations, buddy. Nice I want to leave you with a personal note to all those people who uh, work at the CCMAs, who volunteer, who let me be the weird guy who wanders around with the video camera and shoot the poorly lit video uh, of all these stars. Thank you so much for that. And to everybody who watches these, thank you for taking the time and for joining me in celebrating Canadian country music. Here's to way more.